Okay, so let me do this. I'm, I'm going to open this hearing yes. so that um, we won't have to republish it in the newspaper. Uh, yeah. Once it's open, uh, we can continue it with the consent of, uh, of the parties on, on vote of the board. And uh, do, did they have a date in mind or do you have a date in mind or we're just continuing it generally? I hate to continue anything generally. Okay, then let's put them on for the 17th, the continuation for the 919 Blue Hill. Is that uh, May 17th? June 17th. June 17th. Okay, that's great. because uh, that... and, it, and it's okay with the existing book, the board that's on that night. And is that Mr. Mullins' panel? Um, I don't know. Oh, too bad. Oh, yes, it is. It is. Okay, so this is wonderful. I'm, I'm, I'm being, uh, I'm, I'm a seer or a prophet here. Okay, so we're going to open the, uh, uh, the 7.30 meeting um, at uh, 7.46 uh, with with my deepest apologies. And I, I know the Humbers are apologetic as well. They just uh, have difficulty uh, uh, following the directions to, to come into the meeting. So that this is the application of Lloyd and Jean Humber. Uh, they live at 280 Truman Highway in Milton, Massachusetts. And uh, they... Uh, in February of 2010, they were granted a special permit by the board uh, pursuant to section 3A9 of the bylaw um, to uh, essentially have a temporary in-law apartment uh, for their premises. Uh, so their mother, Jean Humber's mother, Mavis Williams, uh, could uh, uh, live in the, that dwelling with them. Um, they filed the full application, and the essence of their application is, uh, other than not being aware they had to reapply in order to keep it in full force and effect because it expired four years after the date it was uh, recorded in the Registry of Deeds, uh, there, there are no changes whatsoever to the application. Uh, Miss, um, uh, Miss Williams is still living there. They haven't changed the premises. Um, and they say everything is the same. <clears throat> and the board um, did receive uh, four assents uh, from uh, neighbors um, uh, seeking to have the Board of Appeals uh, reissue a new permit, um, special permit uh, for uh, Mavis Williams uh, for a period of uh, four years. Uh, but since this is a, a new application, uh, we, we really have to take some evidence from the Humbers to certify the facts. Uh, and uh, uh, regretfully, um, the technology is confusing for everybody, uh, including the Humbers. So they've made several attempts to uh, call in uh, for a telephonic meeting and, and not for a, uh, a Windows meeting but uh, it, it's all been to no avail. So uh, I understand from uh, our uh, principal clerk, uh, Beverly Sutton, who has just talked with Mrs. Humber, that she has requested that this uh, hearing uh, be continued to uh, another date. And according to uh, uh, Ms. Sutton's uh, records, the next convenient date for the Board of Appeals uh, would be on June uh, 17th. Um, uh, 2020. Uh, presumably the first hearing there is uh, at 7.30 in the evening. So rather than go through this again and put the Humbers on at uh, 8.30, quarter of nine, which may be an issue and be difficult for them, we will continue this to uh, uh, 7.15 so that they would be the first hearing that would be heard. So uh, uh, let me ask uh, uh, my board members, whether there's any discussion um, on a motion to uh, continue this hearing uh, from this evening uh, to June 17th uh, at 7.15 p.m. We'll continue it to the John Cronin uh, conference room, but if uh, times change and the emergency declaration goes away, we uh, perhaps can have the hearing in person rather than virtually. So. Uh, um, uh, Mr. Connolly, do you have any uh, comments or? Uh... No, no comments. I'll second the motion. Okay, great. Uh, Mr. Brown, what uh, what do you have to say about this uh, request to continue? 
I have no comments. Uh, the only comment I would have would be to, um, can we have a phone call with them ahead of time or somebody have a phone call with them to walk through the steps uh, to connect remotely if that's indeed what's going to happen on the second. That, that's exactly right. And uh, uh, in, in all prob well, I know it's not in all probability. Uh, 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 Mrs. Uh, Connolly and uh, Brown um, uh, will not be sitting on this hearing. It will be transferred to a hearing previously scheduled uh, with uh, Jeff Mullen as acting chairman, and we'll go on that uh, that list. But uh, um, uh, I think that's a great uh, idea. And just uh, just let me say uh, to start out before we have a vote on that and can move on to other things. Uh, this was the first uh, hearing of the uh, of the evening. Um, I'm sorry that it was uh, uh, technologically disadvantaged, um, but. Uh, it, it's a tough way to start, but we do have two new board members uh, tonight um, that I'd like to just introduce to anyone who's listening or uh, present, and that's uh, Attorney Brian Connolly and Attorney Michael Brown. I think, is this your first hearing, both of you gentlemen? Yes, it is, yes. So it's uh, uh, hardly uh, uh, enthusiastic uh, or uh, encouraging, but I think we uh, all will do uh, better than this. It's a tough time for people and I, I do think the Humbers are uh, uh, a little bit older and technology is not uh, their best and they probably don't have anybody there uh, to assist them. But I want to welcome uh, both uh, Brian and Michael to the uh, to the Board of Appeals. It's, uh, it's really a, a treasure uh, to have uh, two talented Boston lawyers who have significant uh, law practices in Boston who are willing to uh, uh, spend the time and effort to uh, uh, sit on the Board of Appeals and uh, participate in, in uh, Milton uh, town government on, on matters here that are uh, some very pedestrian and some of them are uh, uh, enormously uh, important. They're all important to the individuals. But uh, so uh, uh, thank you very much for volunteering for this position. We're just uh, thrilled to have you on the board. So uh, we have a motion to continue this uh, hearing uh, to June 17th at 7.15 a.m. Uh, is there any further discussion on the motion? Okay. Uh, so all those in favor of continuing this hearing to June 17th, 7.15 a.m. Uh, PM, <laughs> PM, yes, PM, thank you. Uh, before a, a different panel uh, who would be chaired by acting uh, um, Chairman uh, Jeff Mullen at that time. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, we have a unanimous vote. So uh, uh, to thank you all for your uh, participation in this particular hearing. Bev, you'll notify the, uh, uh, the Humbers uh, both in, by telephone and by, in, by written. I might even have to drive by. Or, and maybe get their uh, uh, written uh, signature that they've received notice of the hearing, and hopefully we can uh, move on. No oh, okay. Uh, we're going to call to order our second uh, hearing. Pardon me? Oh, great. Yeah. Thanks, Scott. Yeah. Can you else? Okay. Excuse me. me. I keep forgetting like we're not paused in any No, no. Bev is, Bev is the boss here, so... Uh, <laughs> Just as long as. Okay. Okay, do you have the ad for? Let me just. Okay. Oh, okay, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, we're going to call to order our second hearing of the evening and. Uh, we, we note that uh, at least Mr. Curtis is present. I think I saw Mrs. Curtis uh, somewhere in the background. And uh, this, this is on the application of John and Christina Curtis. Uh, their application is dated February 20th, 2020, on file for the, uh, with the Board of Appeals. They're seeking a special permit uh, pursuant to Section 4, uh, dealing with non-conforming uses of buildings and land. Uh, the Curtis is on a residence that's located at 22 Martin Road that was uh, constructed in uh, 1923, uh, even before I was born. So it shows you it's a, a house with some character. Uh, it has a uh, detached garage and uh, the property uh, has been deemed by Mr. Prondack to be uh, non-conforming and pre-existing. Um, 
the existing garage is located at a distance of 6.8 feet from the rear lot line. Here the applicant's project is to demolish the detached garage um, and uh, uh, replace it uh, with a 26 by 26 uh, square foot detached garage at the rear of the property. Uh, they filed a plat plan which shows that the new garage is going to be built at a distance of 6.8 feet from the rear lot line. Um, and uh, the, the plans also show that the new garage will be two stories and approximately 22 feet, four inches in height. Um, and the bylaw dealing with side yards uh, limits accessory structures such as a garage, to, which are of less than 10 feet, and this is less than 10 feet. Uh, to uh, one story or 21 feet in height. Um, so uh, section 60 of the bylaw requires that ancillary structures be a distance of at least a minimum of eight feet from the rear lot lines. And this uh, new, new, new grad garage would, uh, uh, according to the building inspector, possibly increase the non-conforming nature of the property and they need a finding from the Board of Appeals and a special permit uh, finding uh, essentially that the proposed uh, change here is not more detrimental to the neighborhood than what currently exists. Uh, this particular residence is in a uh, residency zoning district. I've summarized the, uh, uh, the advertisement. Uh, we, we also have uh, on, on file as evidence for this particular application, the, uh, the Curtis's uh, application dated to 20, 2020. We have a December uh, 26, 2019 uh, denial letter uh, from uh, Joe Prondek, our Milton Building Commissioner. And, and we have uh, some sketches um, in three or four pages, three pages of sketches showing the two car garage with the loft area. Um, they're, well, they're dated 220, but they were sent to us. That's when they were sent to us. I don't really see a date, a formal date on them, but uh, maybe Mr. Curtis can help us there. And we have a, a plot plan of land from DeSell and Burke showing the subject property. Um, this uh, plot plan is dated November 22nd, 2011, and it's, uh, it's signed by uh, Lawrence to sell a uh, registered land surveyor. So we have that uh, as evidence uh, for this particular hearing. Um, I think we did receive uh, one piece of correspondence on this letter. Or we have others yet, though. Okay, there, there, are, there are multiple here. I don't have them as part of my, my file, which I brought home. Uh, we have uh, a, a letter from uh, an assent to, from Gisela Crawford of 33 uh, Clifton Road. Um, <clears throat> she writes this to the applicants. Uh, she apologizes for the late in the late uh, emailing of this. Uh, she's confirming that as one of the abutters, I do not have an objection to the application for replacing your existing garage. And she uh, wishes the Curtis's best of luck. And uh, by that, I assume she means uh, that she has sent to the application. Uh, we have an email uh, from Megan, it looks like Palal, P-A-L-L-A-L. She writes on May 7th, uh, 2020, hello, the Pal, or I guess it's Palai, P-A-L-L-A-I, the Palai family, I hope I'm not butchering their name, uh, at 10 Martin Road has no objections to the application uh, for the proposed garage and she wishes everyone uh, her best. Uh, we have a, another letter, it's, uh, it's an email dated May 7th, 2020, it's, uh, from, it looks like Chung Deep, T-I-E-P, of 15 Martin Road, uh, saying that um, he has no, ap no objections uh, to the application, wishing the applicants well. And we have another uh, assent in the form of an email from Kevin Bishop. Um, it's dated May 8th, 2020, to Mr. Curtis. Um, 
Kevin and Kelly Bishop of 23 Martin Road have no objection to the approval of the Curtis application regarding their proposed garage project and it's signed by the bishops. So we uh, appreciate all of the neighbors for uh, their diligence and uh, their uh, participation in the hearing. Um, and Mr. Curtis, so you've been sitting there a long while. I apologize for this. Do you want to tell us uh, uh, about your application and uh, we'll see if uh, the board members or any member of the public uh, has any questions. Okay, uh, can you hear me now? Yes, I can. L loud and clear, and I, I can say uh, you, uh, you look like you're on the evening news. It's, uh, the picture is clear and distinct. And, uh, well, thank you. That's my, my first Zoom. Uh, so we bought the house 24 years ago. Uh, on the uh, inspector's report, uh, the priority on it was uh, that he said that you need to replace your garage. Uh, we've obviously put that report off for 24 years, but it, it's come due. Uh, we have uh, five drivers in my house. We own four vehicles. We have a single uh, driveway uh, so that the, uh, the 18 by 18 garage is, is just insufficient to store things in and put a car. Uh, so uh, accordingly, we have four cars lined up in front of the garage. Um, depending on where you are in the park, you may need to move three cars in order to get your car out, which is a problem. Uh, we have the school bus stop across the street. Uh, trash day is particularly chaotic, so the, the intention was to build a bigger garage that could put two cars, uh, allow less moving of the cars, and store whatever is presently in the garage up in the loft. All right. The design is intended to complement the, uh, the, the, the look of the 1925 house. Okay. And is it fair to say that um, if the uh, board grants the special permit that the uh, proposed garage is going to be... Uh, uh, built uh, in substantial conformity with the plans that you've uh, supplied to the board. That's correct. And you've also submitted a, uh, a sketch of the proposed garage, which I, I think all of this information is on record if uh, the, the public wanted to look at it before the hearing. And it, uh, it seems to show a, a two-car garage with a loft. And uh, is that uh, what kind of siding do you intend to put on the uh, garage? Uh, the house is wood shingle. We would do the same thing. We'd have them complement each other. Okay. And what, uh, because the uh, drawing here is not in, in color, uh, can you just briefly describe the color scheme of the house and what the color scheme of the garage will look like? So the color of the house now is taupe and we would have the match. Okay, great. Uh, um, just in terms of the practicalities of this, uh, uh, do, do you have a contractor selected? I'm a general contractor, so oh, uh, you. I would general contract it. Great. What, what's the name of your business and where is it located? Uh, it's Curtis Construction Company. We're lo located in Stoughton. Oh. That's great. Do you do work in Milton if people uh, need your services? Uh, we specialize in affordable housing. So uh, mm. when Milton calls, we're ready. Uh, but... Uh, there hasn't been uh, enough of it, obviously. We've done a lot of work for Father Bill's place in several areas. Uh, we have done work in Milton over the years. Not long ago, we were at Fuller Village. Okay, that's, uh, uh, that's great. Uh, there's a lot of uh, affordable housing uh, uh, opportunities taking place in Milton these days, so maybe uh, you, can partake of, you can partake of that market. Uh, great. Is there anything else you'd like to add in support of your application? Uh, I think the only thing I say is the, the, the emails that the neighbors sent, I just uh, sent a flyer around. Under the circumstances, it was a little difficult to go door to door, so I kept it short and sweet, and I just said, I'd appreciate it if you just say you have no objection. I wasn't looking for anyone to uh, uh, embellish anything and just keep it short and sweet. Great. Well, they, they, they did that, and uh, um, I, I can say we didn't uh, receive any communications whatsoever um, in, in opposition to... Uh, your application here. And I, I assume that all of the people that you spoke with um, were supportive of your application. Is that fair to say? Okay, That's great. Correct. So let me uh, let me go to my, my fellow board members here and uh, see if they have any uh, uh, questions regarding uh, your application. Uh, uh, Mr. Connolly, do you want to, uh, do you have any questions of Mr. Curtis? I don't have any questions. Okay. Uh, Great. Uh, uh, how about uh, Mike Brown? Michael, do you have any questions of Mr. Curtis? 
Uh, yeah, hi, Mr. Curtis. Just a couple of quick questions. Thank you for um, for supplying these emails from your neighbors. Are any of these emails from uh, direct butters on either side of you or uh, behind you? Uh, yes, um, I don't think Mr. Leonard listed everybody. Uh, the Flaherty's uh, at possibly 30 Martin Road. Uh, oh, what, in the yeah, let, me, let me stop you. You know, you're, you're absolutely right. Uh, the, uh, Kevin Flaherty uh, did send a uh, short letter uh, with no objections. Uh, uh, Chip LeBlanc, I please was buried in the file, I think. Chip LeBlanc uh, of uh, 31 Martin Road also uh, uh, has no objections. Uh, Ellen Hoey, H-O-E-Y, um, residing at 15 Clifton Road, Milton, has no objections. And likewise, Elizabeth O'Connor of 27 uh, Clifton Road, uh, who are about us to, to the subject property, uh, support uh, their application. Uh, so Mr. Curtis, is there anybody that we left out here that, uh, that you want to mention? No, I think that covers it. Um, we didn't go much further than that. I suppose we could have, but it wasn't, wasn't clear to me how far to take this. Okay, no, that's, that's certainly fine. Uh, Mr. Brown, uh, do you have any additional questions? Yeah, I just, I, my only question is of, of all of the emails that you received and forwarded to us, which one of, you know, it's, it strikes me that this garage is going to impact the people right behind you and your two uh, directly abutting neighbors. And are, are, those, um, are those people included in these emails that you sent? Uh, yes, so uh, Flaherty is at 30, Palai is at 15, or uh, Palai is next to me on the other side. Uh, Crawford is behind me, as is um, O'Connor. Great. Thank you. Okay. Uh, are, you, are you finished with the questions, Michael Brown? I am, yes. Thank you. Okay, great. Uh, let me, uh, if you have nothing further to add, Mr. Curtis, let me uh, just open the meeting up and uh, ask whether there's anybody uh, uh, present um, either virtually, well, nobody in person, but uh, uh, by telephone. I don't think we have any telephonic connections here to this uh, uh, hearing, but uh, is there anybody who wants to uh, uh, be heard and ask any questions of Mr. Curtis regarding the application? Okay, and there's no such person present. Is there anybody uh, present uh, who uh, wants to uh, uh, support or assent to this particular application uh, who hasn't already been heard. And there's no such person present. Is there any person present uh, who uh, either has questions of Mr. Curtis uh, or which wishes to otherwise uh, speak in opposition to this uh, uh, application for a section uh, four finding? And the record is, uh, is silent, uh, so there is no such person uh, present. So uh, uh, with, with all of that, unless uh, uh, our uh, board members, uh, Mr. Conley and Mr. Brown, have any other questions that they've thought of, if, if not, um, I'll just ask you, uh, Mr. Curtis, whether you uh, have any additional information you want to provide or uh, whether you're content with the state of the evidence. Uh, I'm content with the evidence. Okay, that's great. So what we'll do is we'll end the evidence portion of the hearing. And uh, under the open meeting law, we're obliged to discuss this uh, application in open session uh, and to, uh, to vote on it. So uh, uh, why don't we start with uh, Brian Conley? Do you want to be here, Brian? Sure. Um, yeah, I, I give, Mr. Curtis, I give you and your family a lot of credit for talking to your neighbors. That's a pretty overwhelming show of support. And Seems to me to be um, a positive for the neighborhood, getting cars off the street, um, onto your driveway. You noted a bus stop across the street, and in particular with your butters, not having objection. Um, and the design uh, looking attractive to me. Um, I think it's a good proposal. Mr. Brown, please. Yes, thank you, John. Uh, I agree, having your neighbor's support um, goes a long way. Um, and it seems like the design of the building is gonna be tasteful and, and matching. Uh, uh, matching your home. I think it's a good proposal as well. Well, I, I agree with my, thank you, Mike. Uh, I agree with uh, my colleagues. I, I think the application was uh, very well presented, but I'd, I'd expect no less from somebody in the construction business. 
Uh, the design is, is really well done. It's consistent with the design of the house. It's, uh, um, I wish we had some interior pictures of the house. I'd love to look at uh, uh, older dwellings that have been improved, and I'm, I'm sure the inside is, uh, is, uh, is, is, uh, is gorgeous. Um, but I, I certainly do understand the, uh, the issues of growing families and small lots, uh, relatively small lots and a uh, small area and uh, um, children and uh, high school and college uh, classes and running in all directions. And it uh, certainly sounds to me, not only is this a, a significant improvement uh, to the Curtis uh, residents, uh, but uh, it, it's and, and the occupants, your, your children <laughs> and yourselves. But it, it's also a, a real benefit to the neighborhood. We love to see these older uh, dwellings uh, maintained and improved. And so I, I think this is a, is a wonderful project and I can see why all of your neighbors uh, um, voted, uh, voted, at least uh, <laughs> exhibited their, their assent to your application. Um, so uh, I guess all, all those in uh, favor of uh, uh, granting the, uh, the section four finding uh, that's, that's required for the improvement of this uh, non-conforming uh, pre-existing residence, uh, please say aye. 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 Well, now congratulations, uh, Mr. Curtis, on, on your, your finding. Um, what we'll do is we, we prepare uh, written decisions here. Uh, we don't have forms that we sign. Um, so uh, uh, perhaps, uh, to Brian, do you want to take a shot at, uh, at writing this particular decision? Sure. Okay. So uh, Mr. Connolly is going to write the decision. Um, it then has to be passed around or disseminated to the, the board members, um, and it has to be signed. Um, and then uh, it, uh, will, it will be sent to, to, to you. Um, it goes, it's filed with the clerk's office, and then there's a 20 day appeal period. Even, and you probably know this, and if I'm, yes. if you know this, and I just won't go through it, but uh, so there's a 20 day appeal period, even though nobody's spoken in opposition to your uh, application, after which you can then uh, apply for your, uh, uh, your building uh, permit, okay? And um, the, uh, usual uh, section four findings that we uh, enter. They have a series of fairly basic uh, uh, conditions that um, uh, indicate that you'll uh, construct the dwelling in uh, substantial conformity with the plans and the, the uh, sketches that you've uh, filed with the board. Um, you can make some minor deviations if Mr. Prondack uh, so agrees, but otherwise, uh, try to keep it in conformity with what you've asked for so you don't have to come back and um, waste your time. <clears throat> and then uh, after the 20 day uh, appeal period uh, um, expires, you'll get a certificate uh, of no appeal from the Milton clerk's office. And um, you should file uh, this um, section four finding in the Norfolk County Registry of Deeds. And, Mrs. Ms. Sutton or um, Mr. Prondack will, will help you and tell you where you file it and what the fee is and, and all of that. And um, then, then you're off to the races. So uh, uh, congratulations on your, uh, uh, your, your finding and uh, wish you all the best on your uh, construction project. Well, thank you very much. Thanks for hearing my application. Good. Thank you, sir. Uh, so, uh, uh, now, Brian, we'll, we'll take uh, uh, some time to get you this folder and all of that, and uh, we'll, we'll include some Section 4 findings that we've made right. in other cases that will make uh, life uh, easier for you, okay? Right. Thank you. Oh, great. Well, uh, so, Good luck. Well, <clears throat> yes, ab absolutely. So uh, we've ended our, our second hearing of the evening, and uh, we'll deal with our third and, and, and final hearing of the evening. Okay. Okay, here's the, uh, the third and, and final hearing 
uh, of the evening. This is the uh, eight o'clock hearing at about 8.15, which we apologize for. Um, this is the uh, application of Elizabeth and Seth Kruger. It's dated February 28, 2020. Um, is, uh, uh, either Mr. and Mrs. Kruger present. I think, I think we have Mr. Kruger yep. there. Seth is there. Okay. Hi, Mr. Kruger. How are you? And we, I Good. see, you have your uh, uh, well-known Milton architect, uh, Mr. Mm -hmm. so with you tonight. So, yep. uh, well, both of you, welcome to the Board of Appeals. Uh, let me summarize the advertisement and see if I can summarize the uh, the papers on record, and we can. Uh, uh, begin the conduct of the hearing, okay? Uh, this is an application by Elizabeth and Seth Kruger. Uh, what they're seeking is a uh, finding under section four of the bylaw dealing with non-conforming uh, land uses and buildings uh, that uh, the proposed changes to their dwelling uh, that they intend to make in this application are not more detrimental to the neighborhood than what currently exists. Uh, the applicants are requesting to build a four foot by seven foot roof overhang above the front entry stairs and a 13 foot by 24 foot second level addition with a one foot deep overhang to the rear and above the existing one story portion of the property at 170 Church Street. And this property is in a residence C zoning district. Uh, the home was built in 1935 as a single family home and uh, the, the building commissioner has deemed that it's dimensionally pre-existing non-conforming. Uh, we have a, a plot plan uh, dated June 30th, 2017, which shows that the front roof addition would be built at a distance of 12.4 feet from the front lot line when uh, 20 feet are normally required by uh, the zoning bylaw and the rear addition to the property will be uh, nine feet four inches from the side property line when uh, 10 uh, feet are required uh, according to section uh, 6 c1. Um, uh, my name is John Leonard. I'm chairman of the Board of Appeals. We have with us uh, our two uh, uh, new uh, board members, uh, Attorney Brian Connolly um, and Attorney Mike Brown. Um, the rules as such, we're going to hear the uh, applicant. Um, we'll hear from people who are interested in the application, if many, uh, read any assents, uh, and if anybody is objecting or has any questions, we'll, we'll hear from them. Uh, the record in the hearing, uh, we have the advertisement which is summarized, we have the application, it's February 28th, uh, 2020, uh, sound, signed by Mr. Kruger and Elizabeth Kruger. We have a denial letter from Mr. Prondack, it's dated February 18th, 2020. We have a certified plot plan to uh, pass up. So we have another visitor to the to the hearing. Yeah, so a ten day old. <laughs> oh, ten day old! How wonderful! Yeah. Oh and yeah. What is his or her name? Uh, Bridget, third girl. Oh, that's. <laughs> and yeah. how old are your other children? Uh, five and a half and sixteen months. Oh wow! Well. Yeah. I was going to say we'll try to move this hearing along. Uh, so that you can get some sleep, but I'm not sure that's in the offing here. No, uh, not not recently. Well, that's wonderful. Congratulations, and you know, give back. Thank you. Congratulations and best wishes to your wife. Uh, we have a plot plan of the uh, subject uh, property uh, showing the existing dwelling and the proposed additions. It's by Merrill Engineers and Land Surveyors of Hanover, Massachusetts. Um, this plot plan is signed by uh, Douglas Hill. It looks like Aberg, A-A-B-E-R-G, a, a professional uh, uh, land uh, uh, surveyor. And uh, we also have a set, well, at least uh, one, one page of uh, uh, proposed uh, construction uh, uh, drawings. So, uh, I can't imagine who did the drawings, but it's uh, JSG Architects <laughs> of, uh, of Squantum Street in uh, uh, Milton, Massachusetts, uh, Mr. Gianduso, who's well known to the board. Um, and so I'm not going to spend a lot of time with, with those. They're part of the record. They're, uh, they're, they're on file and we're available to the public. Um, I think we have received 
Sure, we've received a, a goodly number of assents. Um, let me see if I can. We have one by uh, Denise Nolan. Um, I, I don't. Uh, I see Denise's um, email address, but I, I don't. I don't see her resident. She's um, one sixty-five, one sixty-five Church Street. Okay, yeah, that, that's all right. And we, uh, she is brief and to the point. I approve of your renovations. Good luck. So we, we thank uh, Denise for that. Uh, we have a, uh, a second one uh, from uh, Justin O'Leary. Um, did you happen to know offhand where? Uh, yeah, she's um, one of the abutting neighbors, 174 Church. Oh, great. And that's, it's Justine. I may have said Justin, but it's Justine. And uh, her, her comment is, yes, I approve, of course. Yes, I approve. So uh, thank you for that. We have another uh, assent from uh, Jimmy Nolan, uh, who is, uh, do you remember where Jimmy lives? Yep, uh, that's 165 Church as well. He's short to say, yes, I approve. Yep. Um, Brian Fleming. Uh, where does Brian? They oh, are uh, 40, 40 the, the, Antwerp. Yes, is the that, rare abutter. Yeah. Uh, so it says the uh, the Flemings at 40 Antwerp Street completely support your decision to place an addition onto your home. Good luck, signed uh, Brian and Aaron. And we have David and Tanya Swanson of 166 Church Street in Northam. Um, writes to the board, we support this edition project 100%. Please contest, contact us if you have any questions, uh, best regards. Um, so we, we thank those uh, uh, butters uh, for uh, their uh, participation in the hearing. Uh, do, we, do we have any, uh, any other assents that have come in since, since these, Mr. Kruger? No. Okay. Um, are you going to make the presentation or is Mr. Janduso going to make the presentation? Yeah, I can um, say a few words and then um, Joe can speak up if I've missed anything. But first, just want to thank the board for really adapting to the times right now with the COVID situation and allowing these meetings to continue in kind of an unu unusual situation. So just really appreciate that. It's definitely not an easy thing to do. Um, but my wife and I have lived in the neighborhood for about six years. Like I said, we have three children, three daughters. We're looking to raise our family here for the next 30 years or so, uh, grow them up through, raise them in the Milton neighborhoods, through the school systems. Um, space is tight, a lot small. It's um, older house, pre-existing non-conforming lot. So really we're proposing to build an addition over the rear of the house, which is um, a living room. And basically that's a 13 by 24 uh, footprint. So it wouldn't extend any further into the side setbacks. Um, by doing this addition, it would allow us to continue to live in the house, um, enjoy the neighborhood uh, for a long time moving forward. And like, um, the chairman said, we're working with Joe, who's done quite a bit of work in the neighborhood, and he's done a great job working with us, kind of capturing what we want to do, but um, also continuing really, you know, the fit of the neighborhood. So what we're doing isn't, isn't going to be anything out of sorts than what's in the neighborhood now. So um, really looking to add that addition for another, you know, bedroom space upstairs, because right now it's three bedrooms small. We're looking to um, increase that living footprint upstairs for us. Uh, great, thank thank you very very much, uh, Mr. Genduso. Do you have anything uh, you want to add? I think Seth said it all. If, if the board has any questions of me in terms of the design, I'll be happy to answer. Okay, great. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, let let me see if uh, the board members have any questions. Uh, either of Mr. Kruger or Mr. Jandu. So, uh, Mr. Brown, do you want to go first? Do you have any questions? Uh, yeah, thank you, John. No, I don't have any questions. I'm looking at the plan here, and 
and I think it looks like a good plan. It, it doesn't look like it would be too impactful on any of the abutters or the neighborhood. Um, and uh, I think it looks like a good plan to me. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Connolly. Uh, yeah, thanks. And I agree with Mike. And <clears throat> if I followed it right, I think you have letters of support from your abutters on both sides and the rear, right? So that's, yeah. that's great. Um, yeah, no other questions for me. Okay. Well, I don't uh, have any uh, um, questions. I, I thought you made in a very nice uh, presentation. Uh, let's uh, touch the bases and see if, uh, if there's anybody uh, present uh, virtually uh, or via, via telephone. I don't think we have any telephone connections with this particular application. Um, there is one present who uh, has any questions of uh, Mr. Uh, Kroger or uh, uh, Mr. Gianduso. Okay, there's no such person present. Uh, is there anybody uh, uh, who wishes to uh, speak uh, in opposition to the uh, application for a Section 4 finding? Okay, there's no such person present, and I'll just state for the record that uh, while, we, while we have many assents, uh, to this particular application, the uh, the board has not received any emails, letters, uh, petitions, uh, telephone calls from anybody uh, objecting in any way to this particular application. So, uh, Mr. Kruger, if you have anything to add, uh, now is the time to do it. No, thank you. Just appreciate the time and review the the project. Okay, great. Uh, it's always nice to uh, to stop when you're ahead. Um, and yeah. Pablo, Pablo, yeah, well, I, I think you may have won the war when, when you talked about your 10 day old, but uh, of course, oh, that, yeah. that's not evidence that we uh, directly consider, but it's, it, it's a wonderful thing. Um, yep. And the fellow board members, do you have anything else you'd like to add? Uh, questions, comments? Nothing else for me. Okay. Nothing I, for me okay. either. Then fine. Then we're going to end the evidence portion of the hearing um, and discuss this in open session uh, and decide this uh, case um, here and uh, and now. So, uh, Mr. Brown, do you want to go first on this one? Absolutely. Thank you, John. Um, I uh, think this is a good plan. I think um, the um, the plan as proposed uh, would. Um, do good things for the neighborhood. I have no problems with it. I like the fact that all of the abutters have um, have supported the application. Um, I would move to approve the application or grant okay. the application. Uh, thank you, Mr. Brown. Uh, Mr. Connolly. Um, yeah, I agree. I think the project looks great. Um, it's been a nice improvement to your property and um, with the abutters all in, in favor of it, it seems good for the neighborhood. So I think it's, I think it's a good project. Okay, well, look, at I, I agree with uh, both of my colleagues for, for similar reasons. Um, I, I think, uh, Mr. Kroger, you, you made a wonderful presentation. Um, uh, you have uh, a, a fine, fine architect. Uh, the drawings are, uh, are uh, uh, really terrific, and they, they show what a, uh, an important uh, improvement uh, this will be to, to your residence. And uh, the neighbors certainly understand that uh, by in improving your residence here, uh, you're substantially improving the neighborhood as well. Um, and I, I say this often because it's very, very true. Uh, Milton's a very old town, a lot of old people and a lot of small lots um, and a lot of young people who buy uh, houses like this, uh, work on them, improve them, um, but with growing families, and uh, this is a perfect example. Uh, and uh, um, the people uh, like Mr. and Mrs. Kruger, uh, I, I think they're the lifeblood of Milton. Uh, they're the future of Milton. They're the success that Milton's going to be. And uh, with the high prices uh, in, in Milton, that uh, they're forcing people to spend a million five or something for a for a house when they've got growing kids and a growing family and trying to save for tuitions um, when uh, uh, exhibiting reasonable flexibility under the bylaw, 
uh, accomplishes uh, these objectives and keeps uh, people like Mr. and Mrs. Kroger and their wonderful children uh, in the town, uh, th this is a home run. Um, I think, uh, so I, I agree with my colleagues. This is not only uh, uh, a benefit to uh, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Kroger personally, but it's a benefit to their 10 year old and their other children and, and the neighbors and the Milton Public School. So I, I won't go on and, uh, and, and make the fancy speeches, but I, uh, I think this is the type of uh, relief uh, that, that makes me feel good. And it makes, uh, that, oh, there's, who is this? This is Rosie. <laughs> Rosie, a movie star, we can see. Look at this. Uh, you know, yeah, okay. this makes you, uh, you feel like you're doing something positive for the town when you're sitting on the That's Board of nice. Appeals. And so I think uh, uh, this is wonderful. So I intend to vote in favor of this uh, application. Uh, so all those uh, in favor uh, of uh, uh, granting the, uh, the Section 4 finding uh, that's been requested, uh, please say aye. 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 Great. Well, congratulations. Uh, uh, on on your finding, um, Mike, do you want to take a run at uh, writing this decision? I'd be happy to, John. Thank you. Okay, great. We'll get you the paperwork and all. Um, I, I should ask uh, Mr. Genduso, uh, in terms of um, uh, the construction process and all of that. I mean, you know the appeal periods and all of that, so I don't have to go through that. But uh, do you have? Uh, does the applicant have uh, contractors? Uh, in the street ready to go or is this uh, I think we're chomping at the bit here to uh, you know get this through the process so we can start building okay so uh, we'll with that in mind we'll do our very best to uh, uh, get a decision circulated cranked out signed uh, so we can have the appeal period start and uh, um, as you know you deal with Mr. Prondack probably more than I do so um, if you need prep work or something, sometimes he allows that to be done and uh, it will coordinate the project. So um, I, I say, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Kroger uh, and children, congratulations on your, uh, on your new addition. We can't wait to see it. Thank you very much. Appreciate your time. So we'll, uh, we'll adjourn the, the Kroger hearing and I don't think we have any other business uh, pending before the board. Uh, Mr. Connolly, do you have any further business? No further business. Okay, and uh, except oh. calling Mr. Mullen and tell him we were assigned a new paint <laughs> how, about, how about you, Mr. Brown? Are you all set? I'm all set. Thank you, John. Okay, so uh, that that's great. Uh, we'll uh, do. I have a motion to adjourn this meeting. So moved. Uh, and a second. second. So second. All, all those in favor of uh, adjourning this meeting uh, uh, with with the thanks of everybody, uh, please say aye. Hi. Hi. So uh, thanks a lot. We appreciate uh, everyone's uh, uh, assistance, in, in, including our uh, wonderful people at the town of Milton who made sure we got in online here and stayed online and didn't disconnect ourselves. And of course, to Mrs. Sutton, who's over here. Miss Sutton, who's over here. Thanks, Bev. Yes, so, thank uh, you. So thank, <laughs> thanks a million and uh, uh, appreciate your service and uh, have a good evening. Thanks, John. You too. Thanks, John. Thanks, Brian. Yeah. Bye-bye now. Thanks, Mike.